What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're diving into this crazy alien monochromatic burgundy glitter. I don't even know what the fuck kind of look this is, but this is definitely a no tea, no shade type of look. And today we are serving it up, yes. So before we dive in, I just wanna give you guys a little hello, a little recap, a little how are you. Last weekend, myself and my brand did the IMATS makeup convention out here in Pasadena in California. What's up? It was so just amazing, beautiful, unreal. I teamed up with my retailer, Beautylish, and we did a booth together. I had pink, furry covered walls. There was pictures everywhere. It was so cool. And that was my first time really doing a real makeup show. I've never done IMATS um, or anything like that, or Fame Expo, or you know, all any of the beauty shows, I've really never done them. So it was really cool to finally do it. And thanks to you guys, it was such a massive, crazy success. I'm still just like, shook to the core so thank you guys so much for coming out so right now i am in new york city and then in a few days i am jet setting off to paris where i will be at the men's fashion week and i got invited by one of my favorite brands ever which is balmain besides that i am really excited to just finally start releasing new products. So I'm sure you guys have heard all over social media, the rumors are true that in March, I am finally releasing a, another eyeshadow palette. And here is a little sneak peek. This is the Androgyny palette. It is my version of a neutral palette. It is very, it's, just, it's, it's neutral, but it's also really dark. It's fun, it's different. And this will be revealed very soon. So stay tuned to my channel and Oh my God, don't you just want me to open it right now? But I'm not gonna do it right now. <laughs> so if you guys aren't mad at me for not showing the sneak peek and you wanna see how I created this look, then keep on watching. Now, here's the thing. I'm gonna let Jesus take the wheel because I have no idea what look I'm about to create. Obviously, you guys just saw the look and you saw the look in the thumbnail. But right now, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go in with two primers today. I know that's like, oh, two, all right, she's not playing. But I just have so many new products that have been coming in the mail and I've bought a lot of stuff off Sephora. So I'm like, you know what? We gotta start trying all this shit. It is January, let's get rolling. So I'm gonna be going in with the Glam Glow Volcasmic Matte Glow Moisturizer. This is brand new from the brand. You guys know I'm a Glam Glow mask whore. And this one, mm, it has that signature cream sickle scent, just like the Glow Moisturizer that they put out last year. And then I'm also gonna be going in with the Urban Decay Optical Illusion. What is this? The Complexion Primer. So I am just going to use a little bit of that. Now, this feels so crazy. It almost feels like, like almost like clay, but then it melts in your skin. So I'm just gonna put it in my T-zone area. Mm, it almost has like a Play-Doh scent. Not a bad one, but it's, Reminds me of like childhood. Now I'm gonna go in with this guy and I'm just gonna swirl it around. All right, now I don't know how much to use of this stuff. It just says to put on all over your face and neck. So I'm going to slather it on. And my neck is covered today, but I'm still gonna put a little on because the skin that's showing needs some moisture. For foundation today, we're gonna be going in with the Hourglass Vanish Foundation. You guys know this is some full coverage shit. And that's what kind of mood I'm in. So I'm gonna go in with two shades because I want my under eyes to be beaming. Now, the cool thing about this is it is so full coverage, you don't need a concealer. It, you really don't need to, like this shit is full coverage. A little goes a long way. I'm also going to be going in with shade Blanc. And this is really pale. I love it for the under eyes. It's like, come on glow. Now we're gonna take our damp beauty blender and get to work. All right, we are blended down. Now, I'm just gonna zoom in on my own face because I wanna see how those primers did and they're really good. Especially with this full coverage foundation, I wanted some extra moisture to this face and um, I think we achieved that. All right, now I'm actually gonna skip concealer because like I said, these are so full coverage. I'm like, oh, what discoloration? I even put some on the lid. You guys noticed I blended that in there. Now I'm gonna quickly take some MAC Studio Fix in shade Shivering White, my all-time favorite pale under eye highlighter and I'm going to just use my damp beauty blender because powders and a wet sponge equals heaven. This literally will melt into your face. All right, now I'm gonna go in with a little Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation Powder and I'm just gonna use my big fluffy Le Mer brush. I am obsessed with this, it feels so soft 
and a little this brush picks up a lot of product and I'm just going to beat my face into submission and get ready to contour. All right, now for contour today, I'm gonna to be going in with the Tarte Cosmetics Tartist Contour Palette. This is number one. They now have three different versions, which I think is so cool. I love this, it smells like vanilla. Mm, it's like vanilla chocolate something amazing. Now I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever Fan Brush. It does me well. If you wanna do a quick nose contour, it's flawless. So I'm gonna use this shade mainly and dip into this slightly and let's carve this face out. Now it's time to carve out this fucking jaw. What's up, jaw? How have you been? It's been a really good new year so far. Thank you for asking. I just love a heavily contoured forehead. I don't know why, it just gets me off. All right, we are contoured, everybody. Now, I think I just wanna dive into highlight because usually I like to save it after the eyes, but I want my dessert now, and who the hell doesn't wanna see a highlight? So, what are we gonna do today? I am going to try something that I've never uh, dipped into before. It is from a brand called Makeup Revolution, all the way from London. A lot of people have been telling me to buy this on Ulta.com. Now, what I thought was really amusing is if you zoom in on the highlighter, it looks like a vagina. Is, am I the only one seeing this or... And that's not a bad thing. I, I'm down for a vagina highlighter. You guys already know I reviewed the real one. It is blinding, by the way. So I'm just gonna go in with a little Morphe Rose Gold 3.6 brush, the R3.6, if you will. And I could wet this with the brush, but like, watch, my hand is clean, right? Let me just do a little swipe. Oh, I'm like, what the fuck? Now we're just gonna really dip in here. Oh, wow. Well, let's see if this is pigmented on the skin. Oh! Oh! Let's take it all the way to the hairline. Duh, nothing new here. Now we're gonna do our Cupid's bow right now. And then I'm gonna take my finger and just put it a little on my nose. <laughs> all right, bitch. We are highlighted. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of blush because I want a little bit of warmth to my face. It is very pale. Winter is in full effect. Now, I'm gonna use something I've actually never used before. This blush came all the way from Japan and my friend and YouTuber Jay Kissa picked this up in Tokyo and look at the fucking packaging. I'm like, oh, why isn't this in America? And she also brought me this brush, matching brush, so stunning. You guys know I'm a stickler for packaging. This is so cool. Now, I actually don't know how to pronounce the brand. You guys know I'm gonna ruin it. It is crazy. We're gonna put the spelling right here. I have no idea how to pronounce this. And also, in case you guys forget, every product that I use in today's video will be down below in the description box. Can I just show you this, the powdering? Because, oh, look at that. It looks like a cameo brooch and it is so Beautiful, and this brush though, I die. So I'm just gonna put a little on there. I don't know how pigmented this is, and it's hard to tell because the brush itself is also pink, so I'm like, oh. I'm just gonna lightly brush this on my cheekbones. Oh my God, it smells like, oh, it's like rose like lotion. It's so pretty. I like this because it's subtle. It's not like, you know, some blushes, it's like, oh shit, I need to definitely takes them off, but this is nice. Let's move on. Now, we're gonna do these eyes right now, and I'm gonna shock you all by doing zero brows, because guess what? I shave them off every day, and I don't wanna draw them on today. I am feeling the alien vibes today, so I'm gonna pull up this Natasha Denona Star Palette, which everyone kept telling me to review this last year, and I used it a few times, but I didn't do a review. There was just, I don't know what happened, you guys, but it's here now. It is a stunning palette. I love this brand. This is actually the same brand that Nathan used on me when he did my makeup last year, which was so long ago now. Where does the time go, everybody? Where does the fucking time go? So the palette looks like this. It has this clear thing that says all of the names, which is cool that it kind of stays in there because if not, how the hell are you gonna really know them? And then you flip it up and there they are. There's a bunch of mattes and the mattes are really supposed to be like non, uh, like no fallout, like no crumble, which is, okay, we're gonna see in a minute. And then these crazy ones are like, I mean, I'm just gonna touch one. Oh my God, they're so like blinding. Let's see what this looks like on my hand. I'm just curious right now. Ooh, oh, I'm like, do I need to put this on my cheeks too? Shit. Now let's get started. We're gonna prime the lids with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot with a little synthetic MAC brush. And I'm just gonna 
put this all over the lid because today we're gonna dip into some color and some glitter and some glimmer and shimmer and we're gonna see what happens. All right, I'm gonna dip into this dark kind of burgundy color. It's called Electra. And now this formula is supposed to be really non-powdery and it has, I mean, it's a little powdery though. It's staying in the pan, but let's see how it looks on the skin. Now, because I have no brow, I'm gonna really focus and do really dramatic eyes. I'm gonna focus the product and go down. So this is even gonna make your nose look even slender when you take the shadow like that. All right, let's go in with a clean brush. There we go. This is the MAC 224. And I'm gonna go in with this shade. It is called G-A-L-A-X-I-A. -A. I know the X has to be silent and I'm not gonna butcher it. So the shade's called Gala X-I-A. <laughs> And I'm just gonna take this on the brush. Oh wow, these shades are a little more crumbly than the matte. And I'm just gonna take this and put it over that color and just kind of blend it on the edges so it softens it and makes it really highlighted. All right, so I'm putting this on my brow bone in hopes of it being really blinding like my finger. And maybe you're supposed to use this with your finger or maybe I should like dab it on, but the brush is not like killing it. It is really like, it's really powdery. I'm not living for it, but that matte shade was great. So I'm gonna try to pack a little bit more on, but this brush is not doing the job for this. All right, now to darken that crease a little bit, we're gonna be dipping into this shade. It's like a dark brown, it almost looks frosty. It's like a dark brown. Let's see what look, how it looks on the brush. Ooh, okay, cool. And this one is called Gemma, and I'm just gonna coat this brush. This is a little, Chanel eyeshadow blender brush. I love this one and I'm just gonna tuck this into my crease just to darken my socket and make it really dramatic. You know, nothing new here. All right, now for my lid, the other day I used these Stila. They're like the magnificent foils I used to always use and now they're like a liquid version and this shade is called Kitten Karma and oh, just watch. I'm just gonna put this on my lid. You tell me what y'all think. I mean, are we fucking kidding me? It's a literally like liquid glitter shadow. I am so obsessed with this. And it's really cool to like kind of cut out your lid as well. So now it's kind of like, ooh. You really don't need any more but one swipe. So I'm not even gonna go in. I'm just kind of like touching up the edges right there. This is done. That was so easy and so blinding. Now I'm gonna take a little MAC Smolder eye pencil and put that in my waterline because I want some smoky eyes today. Now I'm gonna go in this shade called Phoenix and we're just gonna smoke out the under eye with this a little bit and let's see what happens. I don't know why, but like when I'm blending this out, it looks identical to that, even though this is supposed to be lighter. It definitely is lighter in the pan, but it's not really like translating how I want it to. Even though the color looks similar, now that it's done, I really don't mind it. I'm gonna kinda leave this negative space here and I think I'm just gonna do some lashes and fucking call it a day. If you wanna add some glitter under here, you can. Now that I'm sitting here, I'm like, or maybe we can do that right now. Okay, let me just try, ooh, Bellatrix. I'm just gonna dip into this for a second and see what happens real quick. I might pop this in my inner corner. Oh my God, I went like that and there's no pigment anymore. What in the hell? Maybe you're supposed to wet these. Okay, let's try that. Oh, okay. Next time use Fix Plus, not your tongue, but hey, we're improvising today. And I'm just gonna tuck this in here and just see what happens. Oh, okay, these shadows work. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm just gonna stop it right there so it's like barely like, haha. <laughs> now we're gonna go in with my favorite roller lash mascara from Benefit Cosmetics, yes ma'am. And we're just gonna coat these lashes from top to bottom. All right, so actually I'm really happy how this looks with just mascara because with false lashes, it's gonna hide the glitter and I really want the glitter to have a moment. So false lashes are not always a necessity. Even with this amount of makeup, I'm just gonna let my eyes shine. So I think it's time for some lipstick. What are we gonna use today? I am going to go in with, oh yes, this is perfect. Okay, we're gonna be using my Velour Liquid Lipstick in shade No Tea, No Shade. And this is like a, burgundy plum hybrid it made into a metallic it is so pretty so let's go at it oh i'm sorry hi this is gonna be very monochromatic and i'm kind of into it Whew, 
All right, I think, okay, even though this is my own color that I created, I know it sounds so fucking shady, but I am obsessed with this color. This is so perfect for winter, and even though fall is kind of behind us, we are in a dark mood still, well, I am right now. And this just sets it off. I love how monochromatic everything is. Woo, all right, you guys, yes. Now, I think the only thing we need is a little setting spray, if you will. I'm gonna be going in with the Armani Prima Refreshing Makeup Fix. This is, this really worked last year. Like, I'm kind of in love with it. So let's give it a little shake and let's get to blasting this face. All right, now that I am dripping, I think this look is complete. All right, guys, I am really loving this look. I know it's a little wild, a little out there for a lot of people, but hey, I'm fucking out there and weird, aren't I? So if you guys wanna recreate this look or at least try this lip out, I don't care whether it's my brand or any other brand that has a metallic, metallic lips are just so fun and it gives your lips a little added like dimension and I'm loving it, I'm kinda like, Ooh, hi. I am really happy with this, and now I'm about to go out with Nikita and have a little night on the town, a little girl's night, if you will. So hopefully I don't get abducted by aliens because they're probably like, hi, can you come back to uh, our planet? You're missing. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys, as always, for watching this tutorial. I hope you guys had fun with me. I had a lot of fun creating it. And also, what other tutorials do you guys want to see next? Really soft, really subtle, more fucking dramatic, more crazy? Do I need to like stack five lashes? Because I think it's been a minute and I'm about to. So, I will see you guys on the next one. I don't want to leave right now. But I will see you on the next one and I love you. Mwah. <laughs> Bye guys.